As long as Tyler Palmer can remember, his entire life has been dedicated to ski racing. A major force during the 1970s, Tyler helped to bring attention to the competitive side of the sport during a pivotal time for skiing as racing at the World Cup level was beginning to mature and attract large audiences of fans. Tyler and his younger brother Terry were introduced to skiing at a very early age. Raised initially in rural Massachusetts and later in North Conway, New Hampshire, they became all-around skiers, participating in the Ski Meister program at Holderness Prep School. Together, they were extremely hard to beat. If Tyler wasn't on top of the podium, it was because his brother Terry was. In 1968, at the age of 17, Tyler competed in his first season of World Cup racing, recording solid and impressive results. The following year, he won the U.S. Junior Nationals and was named to the U.S. Ski Team in 1970. From the outset, Tyler proved he was a top competitor. In 1971, he finished third in the World Cup slalom standings and was 10th in the overall rankings. He was named to the U.S. Olympic team and finished 9th at the Sapporo Games in 1972. During his career on the U.S. ski team, he enjoyed two World Cup victories, four World Cup podiums, and was in the top 10 nine times. Palmer retired from the U.S. ski team in 1976 to join Bob Biatti's World Professional Tour, teaming up with John claude Keeley on the Rossignol Pro Team. He ended the season ranked as the top American on the tour, winning five races in the process. He was one of the few racers who could give the legendary Keeley a run for his money. Palmer credits much of his success to the many friendships he cultivated on the Pro Tour, especially Jimmy Huga and Spider Savage. These legends of their day taught him how to remain focused on race days and to strengthen his mind and attitude to create a winning mode. He also credits Biatti with being a major contributor to the success that he enjoyed on the Tour. Following his retirement from racing, Tyler remained involved in the sport, teaching youngsters and students about ski racing. He returned to the East, coaching at Holderness for several years before heading west again to Ketchum, Idaho. Despite learning to live with diabetes, Palmer pushed himself to support the young skiers under his wing. He often sacrificed his body to ensure that every child benefited from his time, squeezing everything out of himself in the name of skiing and coaching his racers. His skiers came to respect their sport, understanding its history and how it could make them better people. Eventually, his declining health would force him to retire and return to the family home in New Hampshire, where he continues to enjoy skiing and hunting, as well as the company of his many friends. We now welcome Tyler Palmer into the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame and present him with skiing's highest award, the Medal of Honor.